Well, welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. For the past several winters, what I like to do is I buy just a cheap little chip box, basically, for a few hundred bucks. I rip on it throughout the winter, take it out on the ice. This year, I decided, you know what? I want something like small, lightweight, compact, with a manual transmission. I ended up buying this complete pile of shit. This is a 2007 Chevy Aveo. I picked this thing up for like a hundred bucks because it needs a new motor. I guess it's pretty common for the timing belts to snap. I was like, man, hundred bucks is cheap enough. Like what could really go wrong? I was thinking maybe I was getting a underrated fun little nugget to rip around in. It turned out not to be the case. I think quite literally, these are probably the pinnacle of cheap GM garbage. Great that these were manufactured in Korea, still uh, owned and manufactured by GM. This car has done like 120,000 miles on it. It's a shame because like the interior is in fairly good condition for what it is. I thought I would put an engine in this and that's definitely not going to happen. I'm not putting a dollar into this thing. One of the catalytic converters is missing. I've already taken off the last one. So we're gonna see what this tiny little catalytic converter goes for. But before this thing goes to scrap, it's like take the rest of the exhaust, just beat the shit out of this thing. That was like barely an impact and it just destroyed that whole fender, man. These things are so garbage. Somebody has decided to put this nasty hood vent on there. Oh wow, the hood actually took the impact. I wanna aim for that vent though. Vent's holding strong, we cracked it a little bit. All right, now that I've relieved a little bit of anger, I'm going to take this catalytic converter to the scrapyard to see what it's worth and how much money I actually get back out of this thing. Maybe if like the catalytic converter I get 50 bucks out of and like the car itself I get 50 bucks out of, that's best case scenario. So off to the junkyard we go, we'll see how this ends. All right, so I'm about to leave the junkyard and uh, may have lucked out on this one because uh, 100 bucks cash for that catalytic converter. So we basically have broken even and I got a Chevy Aveo for free. I still don't want to keep it. Eventually I'm gonna bring it here and they can just crush a damn thing. Buying this Aveo may have actually worked out in my favor because I just bought this car hauler maybe two or three weeks ago. It's got a wench on it, but I don't know if it works or not because it didn't come with a battery. So I pulled the battery out of the Aveo, stuck it in the tray. Seems to be a good fit. The only downside is I can't tell if the winch works because we pushed the Aveo so close to the winch. So once the Aveo is gone, we'll find out if the winch is good. But in the meantime, open up this big old pile of dookie. Try to get this radio out. I'm pretty sure you just, okay, you just pull that. Yank that out of the way. Ugh. Easy peasy. So basically, I get a free radio and a free battery for my winch. So that's a bit of a come up. We're not too upset with that. If anybody is on the fence about buying a Chevy Aveo, don't ever. They're just miserable piles of garbage. If you currently own a Chevy Aveo, I'm sorry for your luck. If the timing bell had been serviced, I don't know what the recommended intervals are, but I definitely would not wait until the cars reach 120,000 miles to change the timing belt because chances are it's not gonna make it. To summarize again, guys, do not buy an Aveo. They are garbage. 